This is the Canyon Speedmax CFSLX, belonging to Movistar's Jonathan Castorejo, the former double national champion of Spain in the time trial and recently finished fourth at the Olympic time trial in Rio. <laughs> The latest iteration of the Speedmax TT bike is all about integration and at first glance you can see why. First up we have this flat top tube and completely integrated proprietary head unit which is extremely clean, no cables at all. In fact the only cable that you can see at the front end is for the electronic Campagnolo gears. So very, very neat, extremely aero. And in fact, the only other exposed cable that I can see on this whole bike is over at the back end on the electronic rear mech. Now, a particular understated, but still striking feature of this bike is the integrated brakes that are built within the forks. But rather than seeing any moving parts, there's actually a completely rubber housing or cowl over the top of the forks, which makes it extremely neat. Although, it looks like it's almost like a beating heart inside. Very organic and of course extremely aerodynamic. Another new feature is the ergon grips on the handlebars. Very, very grippy, non-slip and also apparently they claim to be far more aerodynamic and of course negates the need to use sandpaper which we see on so many other TT bikes in this position. And ergon also supply the pads just on here. Now if you look down to the far end of the bike, just here with this little shark fin, this is actually a little storage box. Now, Castrovejo and his mechanics have decided just to tape that shut, but a pro, should they wish, could actually lift that off and store a couple of gels inside, or if you're out training, you could even put an Allen key in there. Quite a neat touch. It's a German bike, it's a Spanish team, but it has entirely Italian componentry in the form of Campagnolo Super Record EPS. And of course, we're the time trial bike. There's a series of extended satellite shifters. So we've got shifters on the top here and also controls here, little satellite shifters on the ends of the hoods. So every position that Castrovejo finds himself in on this bike, he's got the option of changing gear. Power to max provide the power meter on this bike. But if you look at the chain rings, look a little bit closely, gone for a 56 outer ring and a 44 inner ring. And Castrovejo himself uses 172.5 millimeter cranks so a sizable gear there and up at the back we have 11 28 tooth sprockets with this being a bike that's all about speed as you'd expect up the back we've got a full rear disc in the form of the campagnolo bora tt whilst up front we've got the bora ultra 80s now both of these wheels are shod with the Continental Competition Pro Limited ALXs, so there are TT specific tyres, both front and back are 25mm, but the only difference if you have a close look at the tread is that the mid part, both of these tyres is actually smooth, whilst the side wall and the side is actually gripped, TT specific. Finishing kit wise we've got look full carbon Keo blade pedals, an elite full carbon bottle cage and we've got a Physique Adione carbon railed saddle. Okay, the moment of truth has come. Let's just see what this weighs in at. Nice and steady. 8.290. Well, if you like this, we've got some more Mobistar content for you. So if you click just up here, we took a tour of the Mobistar Mechanics truck. And for some more pro bikes, how about clicking just down here? And to subscribe as ever to GCN, click on the globe. And don't forget to like and share this video too.